underpinning all of these applications that we've been talking about and many more, and connecting people and data across the life cycle is Bentley Infrastructure Cloud. And here is where we're leveraging the iTwin plant platform to advance our enterprise offerings to seamlessly connect project and asset information management. We're enabling data-centric workflows and we're doing that all with a consistent and intuitive user experience. So to talk more about some of the new capabilities in Bentley Infrastructure Cloud specifically focused on sustainability, please join me in welcoming Chris Bradshaw. Thanks, Mike. I'm super excited to be here this morning. We have a super exciting announcement. You know, these days, sustainable development isn't just a buzzword. It's essential for anyone working in infrastructure. And frankly, it goes beyond making things greener and more eco-friendly. It's really about balancing economic, environment, and social outcomes across the entire project for all stakeholders. And a digital twin, an iTwin, is perfectly suited to inform all stakeholders of the trade-offs between those outcomes. Life cycle assessments and environmental footprint analyses are now standard practice across the globe, ensuring projects are delivered with sustainability and positive social impact. With new carbon accounting regulations in both America and in Europe, transparency is now essential. To help infrastructure professionals meet those requirements and challenges, we're excited to announce a new capability called Carbon Analysis. To discuss carbon reporting and his experience with these new capabilities, please welcome to the stage Kelvin Saldana from WSP. Hey, Kelvin. So, Kelvin. WSP is a leader in environment and sustainable design projects all around the world. What do you consider to be some of the biggest challenges in carbon calculation and reporting? Well, firstly, Chris, uh, thank you for having me. It's great to be here with you today. Um, right now, there are a lot of companies um, offering a broad range of solutions for carbon calculation and reporting. So one major challenge that we've got is just the wide variety of methods and tools that are available to calculate embodied carbon, um, which can really make the whole process very opaque to the design team, uh, since reports are usually generated by carbon specialists, um, and they can vary in quality depending on the project lifecycle stage. So because of that, um, sometimes the project's carbon score can feel like a little bit of guesswork, um, though standards like the BSI's PAS 2080 are helping with that. Uh, another key challenge that we've got is um, that there are oftentimes uh, a large amount of time required to calculate um, carbon once uh, you are ready to undertake carbon measurements. Um, it needs to go through uh, a very uh, rigorous uh, quantity takeoff process uh, and uh, including design compilation. Um, and data cleansing before that data can actually be used in a piece of third-party software. So um, a lot of times that delay means that the design team doesn't know what the carbon score is until uh, the design's very mature um, and uh, you kind of miss the opportunity to reduce your carbon score because you can have the most meaningful impact um, if you attempt to do that early on in the project's design cycle. Right. Completely. So I heard opacity, guesswork, and a lot of time, and the timing not being uh, ideal. Um, all huge challenges. Yeah. So WSP, and you in particular, have been, uh, had access to the carbon analysis capability through our inter uh, early access program. Um, what are some of the benefits and values you've seen um, in your use of uh, this new capability? Well, with uh, iTwin Carbon Analysis, I think one of the uh, greatest advantages is that the design team gains transparency into carbon calculations like never before. Um, continuous calculations during the design process really allow for accurate carbon reports to be generated much earlier 
in the project lifecycle. And so, um, because reporting is just a click away, updates to the design model can instantly show their impact on the carbon footprint of your project. Um, and that reduces the feedback loop to the design team down from usually weeks uh, to a matter of days. Uh, but I think what really sets carbon analysis apart is its fantastic visualization capabilities. Uh, instead of having to sift through spreadsheets and tables, uh, designers can now exchange data directly with EC3, view 3D heat maps, um, and interact with them uh, to quickly identify where they've got carbon-intensive features on their project, and then they can target those. Uh, this really simplifies reporting and uh, makes the entire carbon reporting process more accessible to the uh, project stakeholders and the design team, and it facilitates exploring alternative options, um, materials, or construction uh, methods. And that level of insight really allows us to make small adjustments early on and throughout the design process, which um, leads to significant progress towards our shared net zero vision. So we really think that uh, this offering is a paradigm shift in the way that we manage carbon on our projects. Great. Well, fantastic. Well, listen, we've talked a lot about it. You've heard about it. Um, perhaps we should show you a little bit this new capability. So without further ado, let me show you exactly what we've been talking about here. So first up, carbon analysis creates a list of all the materials and their corresponding quantities in the iTwin, essentially a quantity takeoff. It performs and generates a bill of materials for all the elements within the design. It also helps you visualize all materials and their quantities in the design so you can see what's where. In the demo, you can see the color coding of material and quantity data being automatically prepared. Carbon analysis uses intelligent grouping for common design elements, helping you quickly fill in materials in volumes that might be missing from some of the design files. Because the data is stored in an iTwin, as updates are made, your design evolves, and you're always working with the latest information. Now, step two, we have to create the reports. So carbon analysis takes that compilation of all the design and material data and sends it directly to your chosen lifecycle assessment tool, like EC3 in this example. From there, you can log in to adjust material selections based on raw material providers and project specifics. This means you can quickly link the project stage embodied carbon footprint directly to your design and material choices and those impacts and see those impacts during different phases of the project. This streamlined process test just takes a few minutes, minutes and makes generating accurate carbon assessments much easier and faster, as Kelvin talked about. Finally, as he also talked about, visualizing and understanding the embodied carbon footprint is hard when you're dealing with spreadsheets and tables. Carbon analysis provides a 3D heat map that is rendered as a part of your model. This helps designers and engineers quickly identify if a design component or building material are relatively carbon intensive. Visualizing product stage embodied carbon means that designers and engineers can easily and quickly explore alternative design options and building materials to reduce the carbon score and footprint. Visualization also supports how designers and engineers communicate the trade-offs between carbon and other constraints like cost and schedule to other stakeholders who may not be as good at reading Excel spreadsheets and tables, like me. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. So, this is the power of carbon analysis. It delivers fast, easy computation of embodied carbon to help engineers minimize carbon and understand the trade-offs of those reductions. What makes this even more powerful is that it's fully open on both ends. Carbon analysis supports over 30 mainstream design file formats within iTwin. It also integrates with any lifecycle assessment tool, ensuring flexibility and ease of use within your workflow. And in line with Bentley's commitment to sustainability, I'm excited to announce that starting today, these new carbon analysis capabilities are available in iTwin Experience at no additional cost. 
Thank you, Mike. Katie. That's, uh, that's, that's fantastic news, Chris. Thank you and, uh, and Kelvin for sharing all of that. That's, uh, that's wonderful.